Okay, good morning, commissioners. My name is Mandy Sackett. Um, Surfrider Foundation's California Policy Coordinator. Surfrider is a global organization dedicated to beach access, clean water, and the protection of ocean waves and beaches. I appreciate your time and attention this morning. I'm here to provide an update um, to a presentation that Surfrider's policy manager gave at the March hearing in public comment. Um, this is a different issue at San Onofre, um, the emergency permit at San Onofre State Beach. Um, the permit approved a 900-foot rock revetment to be placed directly on Surf Beach in order to protect a dirt coastal access road that runs along the bluffs. The road was subject to flooding and closed for a few days during the winter storms, thus prompting their application for this emergency permit. Um, State Parks was issued the emergency permit on February 16th and began construction in late April. Um, I'd like to share an update and several photographs of the construction. So this photo was the beginning of construction where drainage pipes were, begin were being installed at the access road on April 18th. As you can see in this photo, the emergency was long past and the beach has accrued substantial amount of sand naturally after the winter storms. Here's another photo of the construction on April 18th. You can see the wide beach. Um, this is a photo from two days later on April 20th. You can see the construction of what's called a containment border. Already this revetment's not looking very temporary. Here's a photo of the construction of the revetment itself. The eight-ton boulders went in, and as you can see, they um, are directly on Surf Beach. These photographs were taken on April 28th. And I have a few more photos of this construction just to share. The lower parking lot and access road were closed for um, over 10 days for construction. And we know this revetment is likely to only worsen the erosion and could cause permanent damage to beloved surf spot and beach. As I mentioned, the beach already appears to be recovering and we move as we move into milder weather. The road was back open long before revetment construction began. Surf Beach is suffering from long-term and acute erosion and Surfrider acknowledges the importance of maintaining the coastal access road. Um, but we support a long-term plan that, maintain, that includes maintaining the current road. But given our experiences with coastal erosion and preservation, we think this road can be addressed without this um, massive riprap project, project um, that will negatively impact the beach and surf and likely lead to the need for more seawalls in this region. We support alternative solutions that will work with coastal processes. Riprap is costly, very difficult to remove, and often results in something that's meant to be temporary becoming permanent. Um, future projections of sea level rise and associated projects call for long-term adaptation, adaptation strategies. State parks will be coming back with a long-term plan at the November hearing. Please don't let this be another example of a bad temporary solution becoming an even worse permanent one. If it does, it will cost the public the very beach and waves that we desperately would like to preserve access to. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that closes public comment for this morning.